welcome to the Snow Days Nerdcast. We're uh, a group of three dudes who just happen to be snowplow drivers at the same time, but they happen to like nerd shit a lot. So we decided let's just start talking about it online and see if anybody likes the same things or if they just think we're stupid. I don't know. We're just going to have fun with it. Hey. So I'm going to introduce myself first. My name is Josh, and I'm pretty much anything anime, comic books, video games, movies. Um, I'm kind of a jack of all trades when it comes to everything. And we'll turn it over to Matt. Uh, yeah, same way. Anime, video games, uh, all the nerdy stuff. Star Wars, uh, basically anything. D&D. Uh, Josh did fail to mention. I'm not sure if he's embarrassed. We are all lovers, too. Absolutely. Sure, correct. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed. I would never yeah. be embarrassed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then... We are the lovers. Uh, the, the other guy, the, the Italian crow down there. <laughs> the Italian Brandon <laughs> Lee. <laughs> uh my name is Brian. Uh definitely not Brandon Lee. Um I'm the same as these guys. I, I like everything kind of nerdy. Uh big Batman fan. Uh superheroes. I mean he's my favorite superhero, but you know, all, all superheroes are kind of cool, I guess. Um video games, anime, movies, stuff like that. Just kinda into it all. Dude, you're such a copycat. Batman's my favorite. I got <laughs> I got Batman Digi like Digimon card sleeves. See, I'm the weird one who likes the Flash, I guess. So that was always I don't know why I like the Flash. I think it was the red and gold suit just kind of like spoke to me a little bit and then he moved really fast. I like that. I like that a lot. I do yeah, I was I've always been a big fan of like the speedsters in comic books. The Flash yeah. never like I never honestly I think Smallville killed the Flash for me. Like, a little bit with it, Smallville they they were weird in general because the it, it, CW is the same way all the time because they never actually get like full rights to do everything they want to do so like like arrow for example was actually when they brought him on smallville that was supposed to be batman but they couldn't get the rights to batman so they basically just brought in oliver queen and were like we're gonna make him batman but as green arrow that's that's what it was i remember telling them not to use my likeness okay yeah (laughs) yeah yeah. (laughs) i think that would have been a great one i i've been called the Bruce Wayne of my life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm poor. Yeah. I'm pretty bad yeah. at martial arts. Okay. Uh, and then I just adopt a bunch of children and make them go fight crime. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> and then you have just that one favorite that he can never do any wrong and go, goes and does his own thing. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Then you got the guy that replaces him, but everything he does is wrong. So you yeah. get tired him all the time. What a weird. Then he it's he so... gets killed by a guy in a clown mask. It's it's terrible. It's, it's weird it's you brought that up. I, I literally, literally like hour two hours ago got into a debate of like who the best Robin is and this other person who I won't name because they lost all my respect. They're like Dick Grayson's the best, obviously, and I was like, obviously you're fucking wrong. Like he's white bread. Dick Grayson was brought in. <laughs> He was brought in, like, a lot of people don't know this. Bruce Wayne was supposed to retire years ago. And, like, Dick Grayson mm-hmm. was going to be our, right. th- this generation's yeah. Batman. Right. And no one got behind it because he's so white bread. Like, the only bad thing that ever happened were your parents were murdered. But so was Bruce Wayne's. So, like, where's, what yeah. makes you, what makes your life shittier that you can be a better Batman? Which is why they brought in Jason Todd, like, this edgy Edge Lord, but the fans hated him because he didn't fit right. the description of Dick Grayson. So, like, this other person was like, also, Dick's the best. He's the most acrobatic and the smartest. And I was like, yeah, but all they did from Dick Grayson down was take traits of his and give them to other Robins. Smartest Robin? Uh, True. Probably uh, Damien, I would think. No, Damien was the ruthless because there was a... Damien was ruthless. Jason Todd was uh, the most... Ac- like. Um, mean like ruthless when he fought yeah and then uh oh dude red robin i can't remember his real name right now off the top of my head but red robin he was the smart one he was the hacker so hacker man. when when you watch cartoon network's teen titans uh and that that is dick grayson you right. see all those sides of him but just keep in mind like those are just the other robins that's why they can well, there's like there's like a huge debate online about whether or not that is Dick Grayson and the T Titans. I know there's like the, the there's the, the future the, episode. The, there's the future episode mm-hmm. where you see him as Nightwing. That's the main thing that says that's Dick Grayson. But there's yeah. still this huge crazy well, debate on. I just read it the other day. Yeah, the biggest Jason Todd. Well, so it could have been when they brought in the Red X. 
That's what confused people. They're like, oh, the red X is Jason Todd. But that wouldn't fit in, like, comic-wise, because Jason Todd was just Jason Todd until he was Robin. Like, he was just some kid. Just some kid stealing the tires off the fucking Batmobile. The Robin thing's something I can go on about all day, but uh, first episode... Let's dive in. Let's well, dive. Let's dive wanna... into animes and nerd shit. And well, hold favorite. on. I, w- I want to know your thoughts on the Blue Beetle trailer before Loved we get it. started on anything Loved else. Loved it. Loved it. So Loved you, look pretty sweet. I think it looks sweet, and I want to fucking love it. I really do because I want a good DC movie. I just want any of them at this point. I know Ezra Miller is a piece of shit, and the Flash movie is coming out. They're saying it's going to be the greatest superhero movie of all time. They said that about every other movie. So I, how do we know this Blue Beetle is going to be the same thing? I don't I, know much about it. I like the only thing, my, like as far as my Blue Beetle goes, there was the Scarab in Smallville. That's as much as I know about Blue Beetle. That's it. Yeah, Bishop. And I then, think, uh, I think no, I I like the guy that they have playing him because I I love Cobra Kai and I think he's great in that. So I, I'm really excited to see what he does with the character. <clears throat> I would have to say that because like you guys know how I feel about DC movies, like especially like the recent ones like they they kind of look uh soulless like when you like yeah. see all this guy like, they, they, yeah. there's, just, like there's no life there. it's just a movie. like like my my most yeah. favorite thing about the like recent dc movies is one ben affleck is batman because he's scary as fuck and then two henry cavill is superman that's really about it but yeah, then I'm like st- when i'm still I watched, flatter i wasn't a big henry cavill fan but when i watched the trailer for blue beetle I was like actually excited to watch it. I was like, "This dude, it looks, looks fucking good. Like it looks it good. It looks fun. Like it That's doesn't. What I think it's exciting about it. It yeah. the most important thing that like I took away from the movie or like the trailer is that it actually has like a soul. Like it, it's not just like a soulless. Oh look, here's a DC movie. With all these characters are in comic books. It's I, th- there's life in the movie. I'm a huge I'm a huge DC fan. And you <clears throat> both know this. You can't see them, but like I have two shelves of comics. Love DC. I only read DC. I don't know shit about like if outside of the movies, I don't know shit about Marvel. I just never read their books, so I love DC. Mm-hmm. Blue Beetle is such a fantastic character to bring to the big screen, so I'm super mm-hmm. excited. The trailer looked like Bishop said, like with other DC movies, they look soulless because they're just movies. Like it's just right. Like, it's, it's just such, something yeah, it's they're like, it's, yeah, it's just something grab, they're yeah. pumping out because they so, want to catch up with Marvel. Yeah, so I'm and like, super, you know, if, if you you don't have to catch up with Marvel, you just have to put out good shit, quality quality shit. Yeah, that so, could possibly rival Marvel. Not okay. Here's Batman versus Superman, and the next thing you know, here's the whole Justice League. Yeah, right, I, right. Well, that 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 was the tough thing about the Justice League movie was that we didn't know any of these characters. Like with the Marvel films, we had. How many movies before, like, here's this character, here's his movie, this boom, boom, boom. Now they meet up and they, they save the world together. Where with DC, it was like, let's just throw them all in the same movie. Good luck. Well, let's hope this works out and make B- some money. With Bishop it. made a really good point months and months ago that I didn't even think about. We were still on Midnight's, actually. Um, the first Iron Man movie, you could watch that as Iron Man. You could watch that movie, Soul Iron Man. Right. Then at the end, they gave you Captain America and Nick yep. Fury. It's so like Bishop's point basically was, here's an Iron Man movie, but we're going to blow your fucking mind because at the end of it, we're going to give you the Avengers. But right. you, you didn't get the Avengers right after that movie. You got Captain America, the first Avenger. Uh, right. the Hulk, I don't think the Hulk fits in there, to be honest, but the, no. the Hulk was right there. Um, they used footage for, or they used uh, behind the scenes footage from the uh, uh, Edward Norton Hulk movie yeah. in that in that in that scene. So that technically, they their entire plan Edward Norton was going to be the Hulk. Yeah, but they did. But he it wasn't he, it, he was such a problem apparently, and then want, wanted too much money, and that's why they brought in. Uh, they should have given it. To I, do, yeah. I love Edward. I love. Edward. I thought he was great. I thought the movie was good in general. Honestly, the first the, that Hulk. I thought it was a good movie. Um, but it, it, again, it was the same. Too much money, and they hadn't really gone anywhere yet. They didn't know how big it was going to be right away. Yeah, I. I back to the, the the main point. I'm excited for Blue Beetle. Uh, I can't wait. I love DC. I don't like their. Uh, I don't like the lineup they're going with. Uh, mm-hmm. but I'm. I'm not going to bitch about it because I'm going to pay money to go see it. I think I alone have the most hours watched of Matt Reeves' Batman. Mm-hmm. 
So I'm just excited for DC. Uh, I can't I've wait. I've watched like 17 times. Dude, I'm telling you, it's got to be up there for me. Like, they, it's so that, good. I love Matt Reeves. He's so he, dude, he did it. Like, I, of course, I got excited when I heard his new Batman movie coming out. But then, like, you know, I heard Robert Pattinson was going to be the Batman. I was like, oh, the guy from Twilight. That's but then, I, but then, but then, I was like, you know, what? let me be an adult and let me make my own opinions on this guy before I start listening to everybody else and my own thoughts of like the only movie I know the guy from. So I went right. and I watched. Um, it was a good boys and then mm-hmm. i seen uh clips of him and Willem Dafoe in the lighthouse and then a couple other that movies was he did actually, yeah. i was like this guy's a really good fucking actor i always then, liked him then they always had liked the first Harry potter they had the first little teaser for the batman fuck i fell in love yeah. like just just like him saying i am vengeance after beating the living yeah, shit out of this guy i was like this is going to be the best batman movie for I me it was the uh, the set photos they had of him with the bike and yes. he was in full costume. Oh, I was like, oh, this yeah. looks amazing. Yeah. And since this is like a, an anime nerd podcast and Bishop just brought up William Defoe, can we talk about the fact that in the live action Death Note, Death Note. he was the best part? The only oh, good he's part of the movie. Be the best part. Yeah. He was the only good part of that movie. It, it still <laughs> That movie still upsets me. The, the only reason that, upset, that that movie upsets me is because I'm such a fan of the show. That is actually a decent movie. In all honesty, it's an Americanized version of Death Note. And if people had never seen the the anime or read the original manga, they would have never known that this movie is terrible. I and I've seen I've talked to people who don't know anything about the show or anything. They actually like the movie. I hate it because they take the source material and they're like, yeah, we don't we don't need any of that. We don't need any of this. Let's just make him a white dude from fucking California and he's got girl props. That's the movie. No, that was the anime too. <laughs> sort of. Yeah, Light was from California. But See, I, I never seen the movie, but I think I will now because anyone yeah, that, I, that I ever heard talk about the movie, they said it sucked. But now that I know Willem Dafoe's in it, I'm gonna watch you have it. To, he's great. You have he's to great. Watch, I, love Willem, I love Willem Dafoe. Willem you Dafoe's have to great. watch it just for the experience of how bad it is. Well, you've never yeah. seen Death Note, have you? I have a long time okay. ago. Yeah. I used to well, catch this shit on Adult Swim. <laughs> Okay, uh, well, yeah, and you still that. you still might like the movie in all honesty yeah. because you're you're not. I'm a big. It's one of the first anime I ever saw, yeah. like all the way through, and like I, that, I fell in love with it. That Yu Yu Hakusho and Inuyasha was like, mm-hmm. well, I mean, Dra- Dragon Ball Z was like my first one, right? But like, I didn't realize it was an anime when I was a kid. It was on Cartoon Network, so I thought right. it was a cartoon. Cartoon, yeah. But then like, but then like, it was know, it was the, the it, stuff on Adult Swim. I always thought was anime just because it was on Adult Swim. Yeah, exactly. I was, I was a kid. That's how everyone. As a matter was. of fact, Dragon Ball Z was marketed in America as the greatest action cartoon of all time, and that is a quote from Toonami. I remember yep. it because that's my favorite commercial from Toonami. Yep. The greatest cartoon that has ever hit American TVs cartoon Tom is Avatar. And if you fight with me that Avatar is an anime, I will fight. It is an that. anime. I will fight. Tom and Jerry. It's an anime. Tom, Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry's, no, see, Tom, Tom and Jerry's, Jerry's an anime. Avatar. Tom and Jerry's an anime. It's better than Avatar. <laughs> it have, is better than Avatar. Tom and Jerry are Naruto. in the 40s. Tom and Jerry are Naruto and Sasuke. Okay. Yeah, trying to kill each other all the time, I but can, best I, I, see it. I see where you're going. I see yeah, where you're going. Dude. Yeah, I can, I but, can respect that. Uh... Yeah, if you haven't seen Death Note, Bishop, please watch it tonight. It's on Netflix, I think, still. It's it's one of those things that like you just have to experience how bad something is. Yeah. yeah. I like, still got to watch it's the like, live-action uh, Cowboy Bebop. Though. I will. Yeah, I, I thought I that was okay. I didn't think it was as bad as other... Now, the ending of it is fucking terrible. See, it's, I can't... It's so bad, but the... I thought... I love John Chu. I thought he was great. Yeah. And he's, he's a he huge cast. fan. He's a huge fan of Cowboy Bebop. He yeah. does the. I think he does the character justice. I really do. As Spike, when I, I think the movie, casting, I think the show is good. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen that. I might have to watch it later. I think it's good. It's not. You kind of have to look at it through rose tinted glasses to understand it. It's not the anime, but they like they. It's not the same thing, but they they are they they do they do it justice. Yeah. That's the best way to put it. I'll see, like, a shot. I like now that I everyone should know by now that there's a live action Yu Yu Hakusho coming out, right? I Breaking just, like, news I, Bishop just broke some. Fucking news. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just I hope to God because that's my favorite anime. That's my favorite mm-hmm. Um, 
I, I hope that they do the show justice because like in my eyes and I don't like, I know enough about anime to like talk about it, but I don't know everything. There is no like these big YouTube guys, mm-hmm. but like to me, that's like picture perfect. Like one of the best animes is ever it, made. Is it a movie or a show? It's going to be a, a show. show. I think. Okay. Yeah, it's supposed okay. to be a show. I didn't see anything and then, like, about it. I've seen like some of the casting and all that. I mean, it's, it's whatever. I mean, I don't, I don't know who the people are. I don't really recall ever seeing them in anything, but I mean, I, and it is Netflix and sometimes Netflix fumbles the bag and sometimes they like, they make Which, stuff like Peaky Blinders. That's why I, I'm terrified of the Avatar show that they're doing. I'm yeah. terrified yeah. of it. But here's I'm the, genuinely afraid to watch it. Like, like they pump out, to. they pump out something like Peaky Blinders, but then when Trailer Park Boys goes to them, it kind of gets a little fucked up for a minute. And I, then, thought Peaky, I thought Peaky Blinders was a Showtime show. Oh no! It's, no Netflix. Netflix bought them. It's out. a Netflix oh. series. Yeah, I thought Netflix I, bought it them. It started on Showtime, didn't it, or something like that? I thought it started on HBO because I thought it was right after Mad Men. Yeah, could have been. But I think, well, I think originally it was like it was, it was in the UK or something like that. And then Netflix did yeah. something, but, which is weird. I, don't know, I, I just see the, the red hand on it. So. I did text. I texted Josh, or I told Josh one of the two. Uh, first hot take. I don't think. Netflix drops the ball with anime too much. Like some of their animes are fucking like top tier. Like I love uh, Be the Beginning. Uh, the first season yeah. of um, Seven Dead Sins was awesome. Uh, the Gray Man. The Gray Man. Oh, well, the Gray Man was way like way before Netflix. I thought they came out with their own version, didn't they? Oh, uh, if they did, I don't know anything about. It. I started watching that on Funimation. Or no, I'm thinking of. Uh, De- I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of Devil May Cry, baby. Oh, Devil May Cry was fantastic, dude. Yeah, but yeah, they don't drop the ball in anime, but they then they bring out these live actions of those they, same animes, and they're just trash. They yeah. don't. They don't drop the ball on certain things. Like, essentially, if it's if it's like the best manga out there, they don't drop the ball. But if it's smaller stuff that has a smaller following. They put it the they put it in they animated in CGI and it looks fucking terrible. Yeah. That's where I run into problems. I like, feel like oh good. Go ahead, Bish. No, go ahead. No, no, I was go just ahead. gonna go ahead. reiterate my point. Oh. Okay. No, go ahead. I'll get, I guess I'll go ahead. Um <clears throat> I feel like like the one like uh I don't know what you want to call a screaming service that wouldn't drop the ball on anything. Um is Amazon. Because one, the boys, fucking phenomenal, mm-hmm. and then they got the terminal list on there, and that show is fucking sick. And invincible, um, invincible, is invincible is amazing. And then you got like other shit like the Grand Tour, which I mean they're basically doing what they always did on Top Gear. But like you got stuff like that, and you got like producers and whatever else at Amazon that do these shows justice. Because like the boys, that's. Probably one of the best shows I've ever watched. The, the, the boys is so good, and the fact it, it, it's it's fucking like I I mean you talked about it all the time at work, and I finally got Amazon to watch it. Yeah, and I don't regret it. I was not, not when, at all. when that show first. I remember trying to sell Amazon to people like at work, like yeah. I will pay your first month pres- or prescription, your first month prescription. Pres- this is, prescription. We got some drugs going up in here, huh? just for you to watch <laughs> this. And the fact that they brought Jensen Ackles on. Just tells mm-hmm. you how good of a show it is. He better yeah. be fucking Batman. And now they got a uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and he should be Batman, one hundred percent. I agree with that. Boy, he should voice Batman. I think he does he voice Batman, doesn't he? He does. Yeah, he does. Yeah. yeah. Well, it. Yeah, he voiced. Yeah, he voiced Batman once, but he was Jason Todd. He voiced Jason Todd, <laughs> uh, death of a uh, death in the family. Yeah. Uh, since, since we're talking about voicing Batman, I have a hot take. <laughs> so, oh boy. Okay. Um, you mentioned Kevin Conroy. I love Kevin Conroy. Okay, oh, yeah. I was going to say. Yeah. I, I cried when he died. I know. I was very upset. Um, okay, so here's my hot take. Now, I know like people don't really like this game, uh, but Batman was Arkham Origins. Yeah, mm-hmm. the crap. Uh, uh, Roger Craig Smith didn't do a bad job. No, he did, did a good job. He did a good job. Yeah, no. Yeah, I, yeah, I, they, like, like, I mean, I played the game years ago like when it came out. I forget when the fuck it came out. But I didn't think it was that bad of a game, but I'm biased because I love Batman. I don't think and he did a bad job. It's just you've, you've got Kevin Conroy like up here, you know? Yeah. And then right. it just yeah. trickles down. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I, got, I read a lot that like people say that Roger Craig Smith should just stick to voicing Chris Redfield. And I'm like, 
Well, yeah, because, I mean, the guy that got knocked kind of just sounds weird. But um, he did a pretty fucking good job. And I don't think people understood that that was, like, young Batman and not the Batman that we have. Right. Yeah. Well, that's but, why it was but, called but, Origins. <clears throat> but, yeah, it's also in the name. It's Batman or the Origins. Right. Yeah. So, you know, Origins is usually where you start. And I don't think Batman started as a four. Uh, I don't even know how old he was in like, the Arkham games. but like, 45 years old, dude. Maybe thirty something year old dude. 30, yeah, uh, closer to forty, I think, because yeah, he goes. I mean, if we're following like chronologically, like he goes and trains like a shit ton, like after his parents die. Like he yeah. stays in mopes for like five years, and then like and, after and then that, he be, then he becomes the fucking force of nature that he is. Yeah, like he goes and trains like a shit ton, and he doesn't even like go and train. Like he doesn't go to your like your local kickboxing club. He's like, where did kickboxing originate? Fly me there. Yeah, like, take me there. That that was like a big point in like uh when he found the uh the Assassin's Guild. Um mm-hmm. like Rachel Ghoul. Rachel Ghoul and uh and them and like not only them, just all the other fucking things he was part of. Uh yeah. but no, I don't think that guy did a, a bad job. It's just no. people people do that compare game where they're like, mm, he's not as good as Kevin Conroy. Mm, well that, right, I mean that right. that's the thing. Like, all right, Kevin Conroy he is Batman. He's the goat. That's He's Batman. Up That's up. Batman. I don't care That's what why I says. People can sit there and argue with me all day fucking long. Uh, Michael Keaton's Batman. Christian Bale's Batman. No. Kevin Conroy's Batman. I, I, Kevin Conroy made Batman Batman. I, I mean, I and then like the 100%. animated series. I mean, like, of course we had Adam West. He did good. But that, but you got to think that was like a different. Because it was yeah. goofy. It was yeah. goofy. Yeah. It wasn't like what we got now. I, but like me, when I think of Batman, I think of Kevin Conroy, and it's the voice. Like I agree with you a hundred percent. And to add to that point, <clears throat> I love Heath Ledger. I thought Heath Ledger did a fantastic job. Like ten out of ten. That's the joke. Mark Hamill is the, well, is the Joker. Joker. Yeah, Mark. He's Hamill. the Joker we all know of. In yeah. all honesty, when we think of the Joker, that's what we think no. of. As Mark. I mean, he, have... he's been he's been voicing Joker for the longest time. Right. And I'm not you know, gonna lie, I didn't know that Troy Baker voiced Joker in Arkham Origins because yeah. he sounds just like Mark Hamill. Well, do you know yeah. who the original Joker was supposed to be? Because it wasn't mm. Mark Hamill. Mm. Tim Curry. Yeah. Tim Curry. I can yeah. See it. it. He was the original voice for d- d- the Joker. I guess they didn't like what he was doing, and they brought in Mark Hamill, and he just killed it. Yeah. Yeah. Mark Hamill is like top tier bishop yeah. bishop if you could remember because uh and josh i know you're a star wars fan but i know bishop's a bigger one could you re- do you remember the day somebody told you like oh you like the joker you know that's luke skywalker hold on Dude, I, I, I remember I so the confused. day i i'm fairly hey. certain that my dad told me because like i think he was like reading something and I he was like hey man this, did you know that the joker is luke skywalker i was like what are you talking about it's like a different show and then he's like, no, dude, look at this thing. And he, like, show me the computer. I, yeah. You know, I'm just used to doing the phone. Like, he <laughs> showed me the article on, on his computer. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, it's it was crazy to me. Like, when somebody. Oh, is that one of the Timothy Zahn books? Oh, this... fuck yeah, dude. These are the Timothy Zahn books, yeah. I have, all three of the, I have all three of the Timothy Zahn books. Can, this can one, I borrow one of those? Because, like, I think yeah. those are the ones I used to read when I was back in school. This one's the, the Glove of Darth Vader. Um, I have collector's editions, which I can't find them right now. I think it's, oh, I put them on, I, you know, I put them in a box because I'm going to put all my Star Wars stuff on one shelf. But I have these I have, over here on this other shelf here. I have General Grievous. Um, I have like these collector's editions of coffee creamers. When the new Star Wars movies were coming out, they all the coffee creamers they had, they had yeah. Yoda, they had R two D two. So I emptied them out, and I have the 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 bottles themselves. Yeah. I got a, I have a can bunch of Gideos with Darth Vader on it. Star Wars is what made me a nerd. In all honesty, yeah. before Dragon Ball Z, before anything else, it was Star Wars, man. That's that's what it that's what did it for me too. Yeah, because like I I can't tell you how many times I would just sit at home and watch like the original yeah. movies and the prequels all the time. My dad, oh, yeah, my dad was like a huge. My real dad was like a huge Star Wars nerd. He, like he had like movie tickets to the first. Yeah. So did my my dad had movie tickets to the yeah. first one as well. So like, <clears throat> I think I still remember when my dad. It was like news shatter, like world shattering news. When my dad was like, "That's Anakin Skywalker," and I was like, "No, he's not. That's Darth Vader." And he's like, "Right, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's Anakin." And I was like, 
okay, bro. And then three yeah, came out. Whatever, dude. I went to the movies to see three, and then you saw it yeah. as a, as a little kid. You saw him, and you're just like, yeah. no, no, can't be. <laughs> That's impossible. Yeah. That's not true. No, Star Wars. Star Wars didn't do it for me. I, I like. Like, my nerd phase wasn't Star Wars. My nerd phase was definitely, like, growing up, I was a big, like, still am. Like, I'm 29 years old, like, still a huge Digimon fan. Uh, Fox mm. Kids. Fox Kids what made me a fucking nerd, if you guys can remember yeah. that. Yeah. Like, so it was mm-hmm. Digimon, Power Rangers, uh, old school Power Rangers, where they were, like, mythical, like, yeah. knights. Uh, didn't the new, didn't Sen- the new Power Sentaya. Rangers movie just drop? Uh, I don't know. I think it just dropped on Netflix. So I think it, it comes out. Uh, it just came out or comes out this week. <laughs> yeah, where's my tech guy? Um, but definitely what did it no, for me. I started an anime way before I did any of the other like anime and then like Star Wars and stuff. Yeah, like, stuff. And I still, for me, I'm still not like a Star Trek nerd or like. Yeah, I, ne- I only like the movies in all honesty, which I know is kind of blasphemy to Star Wars to Star Trek fans, but that was. Yeah, I, just, I, I don't know. It, it, the 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 shows, I, because they weren't that exciting to me. I guess it, they just didn't do it. Uh, yeah. April nineteenth on that release date, by the way. April nineteenth. Okay. okay. Thank you, tech guy. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Me. Yeah. So just call was, me Jamie. Yeah, I was definitely the the more anime kid more than I was like the nerd kid. But then once I found like the nerd stuff, it was like go 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 especially if we're talking like any series uh, i brought power rangers earlier anything that had to do with like martial arts i was like all about so they were talking like power rangers ninja turtles the three ninjas uh oh there's another one i was just thinking beetleborgs like all that yeah yeah, yeah. that's what sparked it and then when i found a bunch of like basically monks playing with swords made out of light i was like yeah i'm into this right it's awesome (laughs) <laughs> my my dad was a huge nerd. My dad, uh, my real father, he, he played D&D all his life as a kid. Uh, he was huge into Star Wars, huge into movies and stuff. And, you know, that, that trickles down. Like, yeah. you got See, your my dad. My dad wasn't, like, a, a huge nerd. But, like, like, he would sit there and watch Dragon Ball Z with me. And he would sit there and watch, like, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! And whatever else. I was watching Star Wars. I mean, he actually kind of, I mean, he, he would never admit it. Like Star Wars, I don't know what you would say. Uh, but like me and him, like we like I kind of got him into those kind of things, and that was something that we could enjoy together. But I think the like the nerdiest thing about my dad would have to be the fact that he loved every single Keanu Reeves movie, and he had like six VHS copies of The Matrix just in case one didn't or yeah. one stopped working. Yeah. And that like that was like our movie, like our thing yeah. was The Matrix, and like all the nerdy shit that I would introduce him to and that we would watch. So, I mean, I guess I made my dad a nerd as much of a badass guy he thought he was. My dad was... Your dad was like, dad I was, arrest people, and then I fight yeah, exactly. myself with lightsabers. Yeah. <laughs> my dad was... He was in a Star Trek, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings. He read all the books. He he kind of wanted my brother and I to read more than anything else. So, like, we didn't see movies and TV shows right away. We If there was a book first, we had to read the books before we could watch whatever movie or TV show there was. My mom. So I, I had read Lord of the Rings before the movies came out. I read The Hobbit, um, plenty of stuff like that. And what was cool about my dad was like, when I got into like Dragon Ball Z, for for example, he did not get it. He didn't understand what the hell this cartoon was, why they were screaming, why their veins were popping. He didn't get it. He didn't understand. But my dad was so cool. I remember. It was he learned everything there was to know about it just so we could talk about it. There was a point where he actually knew like Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball Z. He knew the region of Japan that he was from before I did. So that's the kind of stuff my dad did to kind of like push me along. Now he was into D and D just like I am, things yeah. like that. So he he was nerd. So he understood what I what I why I liked these things, yeah. but he just didn't get them. My my dad would do the same thing. Like <clears throat> he knew I really liked like the Resident Evil games. So like he, I mean, he he would sit there and watch me all the time, and like he'd watch me play Call of Duty and Resident Evil and like mainly like Medal of Honor and stuff when I was like real young, and he would like learn stuff about the games to either help me if I was stuck or just so he could talk to me about it. And same thing with like Star Wars and stuff. He would he, he found out who Obi Wan Kenobi was, mm-hmm. and then I mean he he knew Star Wars because 
you know, that came out of his younger, of course. Yeah. Yeah. But like, you know, he, he would just learn certain things about like the stuff that I like just so he could talk to me about it. No. Yeah. yeah. My dad was already like into that stuff. So like going in, like to ask, I would ask my dad like D and D questions as a kid. And like, I still this day haven't played like an actual game of D and D. Like I've done this, the spinoff stuff. Like we did like a, my hero story, but, uh, Never actually sat down and like play the game, but uh, my uh, now that I'm, in, uh, I'm a I'm a level four fire wizard right now. Just letting you know that. Okay, <laughs> that's cool, bro. I know we're in the presence of a god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn, bro, touch grass. Uh, but I feel like now more like I'm an adult. It's it's cool. Like when my parents did it, it was cool. But like now that I can get my friends to do it, it's even cooler. Like yeah, my, my wife. I, I I told you guys both. I, she just started Demon Slayer. Yeah, and like that's one super fucking hot, and two like mm-hmm. that's cool as shit. And then like for her to text, I told you I told the story, text me like, "How oh, sad his whole family's dead." I'm just like, "Buckle You're up!" Not even there yet. <laughs> Buckle <laughs> up! <laughs> and I'm there's like, more, "There's more." <laughs> I'm like caught up. Like I finished it, like manga and all. So it's like, "Oof, oof, big dog." If that hurt, if that shattered the fucking heart, something's about to rip out your spine. Right. It's like when I said I was going to start watching Attack on Titan, all you guys said good luck. And I was like, for what? And then the first episode, I was like, yeah, fuck this show. <laughs> mom, I, did, I, 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 I was like crying in the club. And I'm like, dude. In the club. Yeah. yeah atta- I'm attack- literally crying in the club. Attack on Titan is the equip. Like, Attack on Titan is the nerd version of Game of Thrones for like the bros that want to be cool. Exactly what it is. You're yeah. right. Yeah. For like the bros that are like, did you guys catch Game of Thrones last night? And you're like, dude, a giant woman <laughs> ate Aaron's mom. Yeah. No, I didn't or see like, Game of Thrones. Or, or like what we were talking about the other day, how Attack on Titan is literally just a mecha anime. That's all it is, in all honesty. Oh, yeah, but... It's exactly what it's it is. Flash mecha, dude. Yeah. It's... I, my my parents being into it, like, my mom was never into it. My mom's... But dude, my mom's sick, bro. My mom's cool as fuck, dude. But... uh. It feels better knowing, like, like I got my brother into fucking anime, and like that was cool. And like, not even like a like a start off anime. Like I didn't give him fucking, ble- not I want I wanted to say Bleach, but like Bleach, yeah, Bleach. We'll go Bleach because that's just fucking demons and shit. Or Blue Exorcist. I didn't give him like Blue Exorcist. Like, hey, watch this anime and then tell me what you think. Right. I was like, here's Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Watch all of this and then come back to me. And like a week later, text me. He's like, "Yo, what the hell?" And I'm like, "All right, right. So here's a list of shit <laughs> exactly. you gotta watch." Attack on Titan being the bottom of the list because like that's a show you have to watch. But like <clears throat> now, now today, like he'll text me animes I haven't watched yet. I'm like, dude, it's so good. It's like I, cool. I kind of hate when like uh, like you know you talk to someone like, oh yeah, I'm like huge into anime and like ask him what do you watch. Oh, then like I'm like I really watch uh, Pokemon mainly. I'm like, oh yeah. Dude, that's yeah, how I feel about Naruto fans. Like, I mean, like Naruto's a good anime without all the fillers. It, um, in all honesty, I, I guess you could say, like, I mean, Yu Gi Oh. Like, I haven't watched Yu Gi Oh in a long ass fucking time. But like to me, that was like a really good. I don't know if it's a cartoon or an anime. I thought I'd it was go an anime. anime. No, I got anime. Cool yeah, I, but I say it's a good show. But like, like if you like come to me and tell me like you're big into anime and like you only watch fucking Pokemon, the only problem with Yu Gi Oh, I would say. So I don't know if you guys have ever read the comics at all. Uh, but, fuck uh, many ago. So they're ridiculously dark. Like yeah. they are not the show at all. Yeah. The, the show was made to make money and sell cards. I the, found that the, out really quick. The, the comics are like, it, it, like you you've watched Chainsaw Man. There's gore like Chainsaw Love Man. Chainsaw in, there, dude. Yeah. It's like that was that was mine and my brother's thing, and then he found the comic once. I think it was like in like one of like those big mega packs of the cards, yeah. like in the box. Yeah, and they were sitting there reading, and I was like, "What? What is this? This isn't fucking Yu Gi Oh! This is that, right. this is some other shit. It's like Gears of War." Yeah, dude, that always brings me to like, and I don't know how often I get asked this question, but like when people do ask me, like, "What was like the worst anime you ever watched?" and I'm always just like, without a doubt, everything past season one of Yu Gi Oh. Mm-hmm. Like every like at one point they were race car drivers I think I yeah no yeah they, they were like, yeah, so, I don't know, I remember that one yeah at one point I only watched the original Yu Gi Oh yeah I do 
Okay. Same thing with uh, when I was a kid. I was real big in like the first season of Beyblade, and then after that, like. They were just like twelve year old kids with face paint that were angry at the world. And I was like, I don't get like the first season was all about this kid who was like full of life and like I just want to be the best. And then it went like it went from I think his name was Tyson to wanting to be the best to I'm gonna use my Beyblades and kill people. Right. And I was like, Yeah, I'm probably out. I'm probably out now, dude. This my is my man should have watched Pokemon because my man Ash Ketchum wanted to be the best for twenty some years and it finally became the best. Finally did it. I did my man. I was never a huge Pokemon guy just because of how big of a Digimon fan I am. I did watch like the final battle and like they played the the OG opening oh, song. Yeah. Dude, it got yeah. me. it got me, dude. It got me so yeah. bad. It yeah. hurt. It for hurt. Sure. And I'm not even like right. a Pokemon guy. So we were gonna go over Oh, we were gonna do like our top ten list. Let's get that going now. Let's go in there, Matt. What? Let's start with you. What would you say is your top ten anime list? Let's go because I don't. I didn't write out like a top ten. So let's go top three. Okay. My top. I'll give you. If you guys want to do top ten, you guys can go top ten. But my top three are the Holy Trilogy. In my opinion, I've got them tattooed on my body. I'm okay. going Tokyo Ghoul. That's number one. Okay. I'm going Full Metal, mm-hmm. and then Fairy Tale. There you go. Okay. Holy Fish. Trinity for me. Mm, you go first. I gotta, I gotta. I'm gonna. I'll do a top five. Um, I have to say Dragon Ball Z right off the bat because that's the first thing I ever saw. That's what made me want to watch anime and learn more about it. So Dragon Ball Z would be my number one always. I, w- I still won't say it's the best anime, but it's my favorite. Um, number two is probably Full Metal. Um, number three would be Death Note. Number four, Hunter Hunter. Number five, New Hot Still, that's the seven hundred. Maybe my five. Um, Bishop, kind of, you, you, Haka. Yeah, that show. Honor, honorable yeah. mention. Yeah. Honorable <laughs> mention of One Piece because I won't put it in any of my top lists because it's not finished and I don't think it ever will be. So I can't put One yeah, Piece. It's, in there. it's like way too long. And if you want to get into One Piece, you better pick an arc and stick with it. I tried <laughs> that and Josh yelled at me because you started after the time skip. You cannot do that. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Don't, don't, don't pick an arc after the time skip. Right. Like the one before. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'd have to say I can maybe squeak out five. I'm trying to, like, really. Uh, we know your number one. Yeah, my number one is Yu Yu Hakusho. Right. Yeah. Um, so Yu Yu Hakusho, Dragon Ball Z. Um, probably going to get hung for this, maybe. I don't know. Naruto. I'll put that up there. Right. Naruto's good. I just don't like it when anime fans are like, have you seen Naruto? And it's like, right. yeah, that's it's like, fucking rookie level, like, like, right? Like, there's like a million other things better than Naruto. But I'm, I'll put that up there because yeah. I grew up with it. Um, does that have to be shows or movies? Can it be a movie as well? Movie's fine. All right, yeah. Spirited Away. That's a good one. Great one. Dude, <laughs> fucking knockout right there. Dude, I'll put that above Naruto. Movies, dog. Dude, I'll put that above Naruto. Um, I'm not like all the way through it yet. Like I, I think I'm still like kind of a season one because I've been liking on my anime. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Jujutsu Kaisen, mm-hmm. uh, I gotta put that up there because I I got pretty hooked on that. If like, I, I I got all like, I think I might be on the second season by now because I got like really hooked on no it. There's no way, there, dude. There's it. no way you are. Why? It's not out yet. Not <laughs> out yet. <laughs> no, not the yet. Why is there? Why is there a seasons list on Funimation? I did. I realized that too. Because okay. when you said because there it, there is a season like two, but like it's not yeah. season two. Like season two is coming okay. out end of the month next month. All right. Now I look like an idiot, but no, that's no, Funimation's no. fault. That's Funimation's fault. And it was only like a month long fucking error that they like ran yeah. that. But like yeah, no. I like, remember this always, Bish. We will always love you. It's okay. Thank you. But I I blasted through that pretty quick because I was like I was like man this is pretty fucking sweet yeah and then I guess the honorable mention for me would be Tokyo Gold but I'm still not done with that yet so. yeah so I can't I, get into it I've it, tried if I was forced because those are the, the my three top ones just because they've I have tattooed my body they've shaped my life but like Jujutsu Kazan's way up there uh, mm-hmm. it's one of the only like Jujutsu Kazan's what got me into manga because I I just didn't want it to stop mm-hmm. I had to keep getting it and then yeah digimon because you brought movies digimon's always been my favorite show oh, yeah. ever but like the latest movie <laughs> last evolution is yeah. one of my favorite movies it makes me cry every single time but like i'll I watch agree, it yeah. nine nights out of ten nights i'm alive i'm gonna watch that movie 
the last uh, night I'll spend with my family and do all that boring stuff. But yeah, I will right. say my list is subject to change only because there's a lot of anime that I you have a, I I'm haven't gonna give watched. You, I'm going to give you some homework because I I need to watch. I want to watch Hunter Hunter, and mm-hmm. I need to watch. Uh, I need to continue watching Mob Psycho because that shit was pretty fucking fire. Yeah. I'll throw that on the list too. Why not? I Mob probably Psycho's over five, but fuck it. Mob Psycho, uh, and then. And then I guess I have to watch My Hero Academia because I was watching it with you, and I was like, "This got fucking good." It got right, it, it, it. It gets better as the as yeah. it, it just for me. It just every season gets more and more incredible. In my oh, did my camera freeze? Yeah, you did. You're frozen. Frozen. Oh, no. Oh, no. I will say, <gasps> my hero. There we go. My hero right now is like peak. Like if you if you're absolute if you're watching like active animes, my hero is probably the best you have right now. We're, oh, we're yeah. just we're just getting out of like the vigilante arc, uh, spoilers by the way, and we're just getting out of that to where I think Deku has some of the best growing up through anime outside of Naruto. I think Deku has the best. Yeah, but, I like, agree. we're just getting to the point where he's like, oh shit. The power that I have is greater than I thought, and right. I can't fuck up. And he already thought it was great. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the most <clears throat> intriguing yeah. thing about it. I mean, it's kind of like the same thing with Yusuke and Yu Yu Hakusho. Like, I mean, oh, yeah. he died, he came back, and then he's a spirit detective, and then he has a spirit gun. But then, as like as the show progresses, and the more and more things that he learns, and the more and more things that happens to him, he starts realizing. I'm not a fucking normal human being, and I could literally just, I could take over the world if I wanted to, but he's not that kind of guy. Yeah, it, they, do then, a, they do a good job of showing that because uh, after uh, the World Torment arc, he comes back to his world, yeah. and some kids try to jump him. Yeah, he, has, he he realizes he has to hold himself back because he yeah. can easily kill them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he, and he's just not happy right. doing what he used to do all the time because he's like, I mean, the guy was beating what class A demons. And then it's uh, a little cla- there, no, I think it was no. Tagore was one of class C. Yeah, class. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Class. I, th- I was putting A above, but yeah, class, he was the, he was class the C. high. He was the highest level of class C. See, and yeah, that, and that's my biggest problem with anime, and we talk about this all the time. They cut out so much of the manga that, like, mm-hmm. now that we're talking about, like, you're you're the best, you're the greatest, like Tokyo Ghoul, like. Kaneki goes through such of this drastic change, but like the anime doesn't show the drastic change. He goes from yeah. whiny little bitch, ghoul, baddest motherfucker to ever live. Yeah. And that's it. Like that's where it goes. But they don't show you kinda... like struggle, 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 have to do some shit you don't want to do, struggle. Yeah. Now you're right. the baddest motherfucker because you have zero feelings outside of Toka. Dude doesn't care a lick about anything. But like the season ends with he's just the king. It's like, right. no, yeah. you cut out so much. Like, like the like the best thing about Yu Yu Hakusho is like they show all the stuff that Yusuke goes through to like get his uh, spirit strength higher. Yeah, and the things well, that he doesn't want to do, and things that have to happen to make him become more powerful. To, to be like fair, watching there, Kuwabara die, well, die, made yeah. him stronger. Well, there, to be fair, stronger. there there is an ass pull in Yu Yu Hakusho. Remember, it, it, suddenly he's a demon. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 I would say that's my only gripe with Yu Yu Hakusho. Well, actually, as cool as it was, it's one of the coolest scenes in all of anime, in my opinion. When he uh, awakens his demon powers yeah. and his demon, his demon grandfather like takes over his body, one of the greatest scenes in anime, in yeah. my opinion. So, but actually, but the way that they did that, I think it was terribly done. I so, really not, do because he had spent all that time fighting demons. Now all of a sudden, he is a demon, and he's just. So not to, to kill continue your point. on like that. Not to kill your point, but I started watching it again. I don't mm-hmm. remember the exact line, but in like the uh, first season, they, um, yeah, they do. The dude, the dude that's with Koenma, the, the announcer guy. Yeah. Um, he says a line in the very first season about Yusuke, mm-hmm. and I just went holy because I thought the same thing you did about the yeah. he's all of a sudden a demon. But like I heard that line and I was like, "Wait, what the fuck? They had this shit planned since like the beginning with him." Yes, Tagashi's very well known. He's very similar to Oda with One Piece. He will put something like a little snippet real early on in the show. Mm-hmm. It may come to fruition. It may not. I think he forgot about it and then remembered it at that ending, and that's why it happened the way it did. Yeah, 
that was a uh to go back to Josh's point about like or my point I guess my disappointment in anime and I wanted to know your guys two opinions biggest disappointment in anime biggest disappointment in gaming because we haven't gotten to gaming which is the yeah. world so my right. biggest disappointment yeah, is cool. and this is Josh's fault all oh, all oh, 100% <laughs> The Promise Never right. Land. The Promise Never Land uh, is the yeah. biggest disappointment in anime history ever to me. It but it wasn't my fault that it's the... You made me the, watch it. I made you watch it not knowing how the second season would go. Okay. I had only seen the first season. So, the first season, dude, Chef's Kiss. Amazing. Perfect, amazing. amazing. I, don't even, I don't even like that kind of anime. Dude, and that's so all I good. had seen. That's and then, all I had seen when I showed it to I you. I binge-watched both seasons in three days. And I came to work right. and Josh tried to talk to me. And I was like, don't <laughs> speak to me ever again. So, and then, uh, biggest disappointment in gaming, my favorite game, big disappointment, dude, Mass Effect 1. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Don't like the vehicle driving, don't like, uh, the the weird dialogue lines that you get in that game, and then- I always kind of saw it as a- It was character- this is kind of a hard, uh, 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 hot take here. I always kind of saw it as a layman's um, Halo, personally. Yeah. I've never been that big of a fan of it. Oh, you're wrong. Mass Effect's great. You're wrong. I can see your point there because that's how I, I mm, saw it when I was so young. You're both wrong. Which is crazy. That I, 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 s- I saw it as a game that was like put out to like try and rival like halo or be a different type of halo. right that's that's what i mean yeah and like i wasn't even like the biggest halo fan but like like once i got it and i played halo 3 i was like well, fuck mass effect. halo 3 have was you always not fun. played yeah. mass effect they're nothing yeah. like halo it did like just looking at first it. person shooters in set in space wrong same thing. not first person shooter third person and i've also seen third a lot of critics say that it's supposed to be like a it's halo so game. good dude First off, didn't what, they call it a Halo Killer? Is that what they called it? I could, that was yeah, like that. the marketing for it. It was so good. What other game do you know of, even now, where your decisions in the first game that came out on a different console mattered in the second game? It read your save file. Uh, and then Star continued. Wars: The Knights of the Republic. There was also something in Metal Gear Solid that did that as well, and I think so. Well, for, dude, I didn't even put Metal Gear Solid on my list because that game's just all those games outside of. The last Patriot one are goaded. Yeah, like I Metal, agree. Ge- Metal, really argue that. Metal Gear. So- and dude, I stand by this statement. I'll make it. It's not even a hot take. It's the the actual like fact. All of the Metal Gear Solids for their times were cinematic masterpieces. Oh, yeah, I agree. 100%. 100%. I agree one hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, even today, like just like the cinematics of the game, like not like. Graphically wise, but like how they're conducted, it was the, better than half the shit that gets put out. The third days. one or the fourth one was for the PS3. It was the final fight scene. You played a snake. You were fighting revolver. Oh but yeah! Like every punch that landed, you went back in time a step, mm-hmm. and it was playing all the 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 menu, the main menu songs as that happened. Mm-hmm. Dude, there's yeah. movies that won't make you feel like that. It was, yeah. dude, cry my eyes out. Anyways, uh, to you two, uh, biggest disappointment in anime and video games. Oh, I anime. It's I would I one hundred percent in agreement with you with Promise Neverland, video game. Hmm. Probably that Disney game that you play. Don't even start. <laughs> I won't even do it. I, you know what? I, I think I might have to actually say that Kingdom Hearts Three was somewhat of a disappointment, and I loved it. I thought it was great, and all honestly, for what it was. What I didn't like about it is like Kingdom Hearts Two. I remember it took me months to beat that game. I beat Kingdom Hearts Three in three days, and I think yeah. that was my biggest gripe was that it was, it, it was so short that it didn't have as much lore as the first two, and it just kind of just kind of fizzled out in my opinion. And then it, they they built up. Certain characters like Kyrie, the female character, because I know you guys haven't really played it that much. Yeah, um, I played them all. Okay, well, Kyrie, she's built up to be a new Keyblade wielder. She's supposed to be strong now, and she gets relegated back to gotta save the girl. That's what I I really didn't enjoy that. I, I thought they were yeah. gonna do something there, and they just didn't do it. 
Bishop. Bishop's going to come with a hot take. I can feel it. Oh, for sure. Uh, I mean, I really don't have one for, uh, like, anime, because I can't really think of one. But I guess I have two for gaming. Oof. Mm -hmm. Um... Well, I had one and I forgot it, but we'll we'll come back to that. Um, but actually, no. Uh, Battlefield 2042. I was always a big Battlefield fan. Yeah. Um, that game was supposed to be the game of games. It was supposed to be. Uh, it was supposed to like take you back to like the Battlefield three days. And when it came out, the alpha or the beta was actually the alpha, and it was a hundred times better than the actual game. Mm -hmm. And I like now it's actually. It's it's really good. Like it's you can actually play it, and it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> but um, I I go back and I play Battlefield One, and I sit there and I wonder how the fuck are we now in? But well, that game came out in twenty twenty one, I think. How did this game that came out in twenty twenty one not look as graphically impressive as a game that came out in two thousand sixteen? I believe. Yeah. Um. How the fuck does that happen? And how also is this game that is World War One better than a game that's set in the future? Mm -hmm. So that that was kind of a letdown for me. Uh, not really anymore because it's better. Uh, I will say the the biggest letdown of that game was the portal mode because they're supposed to have like Battlefield Three, Bad Company Two, which is one of my favorite games, right? And Battlefield Three. Um, they're gonna have that in the nineteen forty two. But like the guns and the maps are great and all that, but like the guns just don't feel anything like they used to. Like they just they made them worse. Like they just whatever. Um, and then I guess my other one uh, biggest letdown that I didn't notice after a while because I was so excited for zombies again. Uh, Black Ops Four Zombies was kind of a fucking letdown because one, you had to pack a bunch of your gun like fucking I don't know like five times or whatever. It's stupid to get it full powered on top of that your guns don't do any power and then they took away uh the plus 10 points you get for every single hit on a zombie and like the maps were cool um they brought back mob the dead best zombies map ever don't give a fuck what anyone says uh they brought that back loved it um the titanic map was cool i think the best map from the other storyline was probably the one set in uh was it? Greece, wherever the hell it was. That one was cool as shit. Um, but just like the gameplay of Black Ops 4 Zombies, eh. like all like, the special zombies and shit they had, you didn't need to do that. You're our, you're our resident first person shooter player. What do you think about Casino Roy or the Casino games now? The uh, or not Casino, the, 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 the Battle Royal games. Battle Royale games? Like Fortnite and such. Fortnite, Call of Duty, just in there, warfare. I, okay, all right. I, I'll, I'll give my hot take on Call of Duty. Uh, I've grew. I grew up playing Call of Duty. My first Call of Duty was uh, Call of Duty Finest Hour, one of the best Call of Duties ever made. Phase Bishop. Um, my first multiplayer experience was at my friend's house playing COD Four, and then uh, I played World of War at my brother's house. And then once I finally got my own like, 360, I played them all online. Uh, I love the original Modern Warfare 2. Uh, people are going to hate me for this. Uh, Black Ops 2, the GOAT. Can't fucking deny it. Black Ops 2 is the GOAT. Hot take. Uh, but, but all those games are really good. But after Black Ops 2, Call of Duty just kind of went like this. I like Ghosts because I've see what, I seen what they were doing, but no one else did. Mm -hmm. uh, Advanced Warfare was cool with the new movement and shit. Me, me and my brother and our other buddies we used to play with, we ran shit on search all the time. Uh, Black Ops 3 was really good. Campaign was horrible. Zombies is amazing. Multiplayer was fucking sweet. Uh, Infinite Warfare, I hated it just because I seen COD 4 got a remaster and I fucking played that all the time. But Infinite Warfare was actually a really good fucking game. Uh, don't burn me at the stake on that one. Uh, then Modern War or well, Black yeah, Ops 4's cool. Black Ops 4's multiplayer was fun at first and it got really dumb. Uh, Modern Warfare 2019, I really loved it at first, and then it was just like every content update, which just seems to be a running thing with games now, they throw in the most overpowered bullshit gun ever, and then you have um, the Warzone players. Now, I liked Warzone at first because it wasn't like the slide canceling fucking whatever the hell it is now. 
I liked it just because it was something new and I could actually use like tactics and things that I know in the game, which that, that was fun. But then it just turned into who could be the sweatiest fucking person. And I know, I know if, if anybody, if anybody watches this or say, Oh, you're just a casual player. When I play call of duty, I sweat. I don't even fucking try. Right. And like, I mean, I don't like, I don't sit there and say I'm the greatest player ever because there's players better than me. And if I was that good, I would be on a pro team right now. Right. But um, the whole battle royale thing, um, I used to play PUBG a lot. I thought it was fun. I love PUBG. And then uh, Fortnite came out. I, did, I forgot, like, I actually played that game a lot, my buddies, but I, I liked it. The building aspect, not a fan. But then when they did the no build thing, I actually like really fucking liked Fortnite. Um, and Fortnite, I don't care what anyone says, like they're doing some of the best stuff right now, like for real. Um, but all these other games, like Battlefield, did it in Battlefield Five. They tried a battle royale, and it was fun. Um, Call of Duty did it, and now everyone is pissed off that they can't slide cancel and actually have to use skill in the game, which. Being skillful at a game, that's that's a tough thing to do. Uh, people don't like Warzone 2 because it's not like Warzone 1 where they could just slide around and pop 17 stems and be faster than people. Um, but I feel like the market is like super saturated with games that don't need a battle royale. Like Call of Duty really didn't need a battle royale, but it's cool that they did it. Battlefield didn't need a battle royale, but you know, it was cool that they did it. Um... I just feel like it's a uh, an oversaturated market, and they try to appeal to a certain type of player base. Yeah. Instead of trying to appeal to everybody, <clears throat> and then it just becomes a, a dead game within maybe four months when all the streamers stop playing it. Like I played one; it was like a vampire game. That game was actually a lot of fucking fun. I don't care about, uh, <clears throat> um, online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. game was that game was sweet. Like I, I really liked that game, and it kind of took the aspects of like the fast adrenaline movement bullshit. That that was fun. It took all that. Like it took elements of like PUBG. Uh, I guess you could say Warzone, and then there was another one that Ubisoft made that I can't think of right now. But then there's another game that just came out called The Finals, and it's like a battle royale ish, I think. But it's also mixed with like, I think an extraction kind of thing. I'm not too sure. I don't know too much about it just from what I've seen in videos. Uh, but I think all these games that are coming out, uh, they need to stop worrying about a battle royale in their game. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't think they will because that's what's making all the money right now. And that's I, I mean, all it is today. It's just yeah. what, what, what can make it most money? And that, that's the thing. Money. Like Black Ops 4, like the battle royale that was in that was actually fun. But, like, I just feel like they put too much... Like, Call of Duty needs to worry about what they're known for. And it's their core main multiplayer. Mm -hmm. That's what they're known for. And, like, I'm kind of sick and tired of buying Call of Duty now. And I get, like, Model for 2, I don't really know any, like, the maps in the game. Like, if you... Like, there's, like, three maps I can probably name you. Real quick, and, Bishop. I'm just going to cut you off for a second. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just going to bounce out for a second. Ash is getting ready to go to work, so I'm just going to say bye. Oh, okay. Um, so like the new model for two, I can only name a couple of the maps in a game because like the other ones are so forgettable and like just kind of shit. Mm -hmm. But like I feel like they spent more time working on uh Warzone 2 and DMZ. I actually like DMZ a lot because it's like Escape from Tarkov, but I don't lose my sanity when I die. Right. Um they put a lot of work into the campaign, which is good. But I feel like they just need to put their focus back on what made Call of Duty great. And it was that 6v6 uh, core multiplayer gameplay. And like the maps, like maps from like way back when that were so good. And now they give you shit maps. And then the next DLC content update, they give you one shit map, another shit map. And then they bring back shipmen again, and then they give us another old map that I could care less about. I want something new. But I feel like a lot of these companies are just worrying too much about a battle royale and forgetting what they're known for. Right. 
I know I kind of rambled there, but I mean, <laughs> no, I feel you. <clears throat> but I, I, just, I know, like, I, I feel like I, if you're gonna make a battle royale game, make it a standalone thing. I know my my brother; he still plays Call of Duty right now, and he he says, in all honesty, it, it, he thinks it's great. But the pro- biggest problem is, is that they have all these anti cheat programs that don't work. There don't are too sure. many cheaters yeah. out there, and he yeah. says it makes a really it makes the game not fun anymore. Yeah, like I I played Call of Duty for the first time like a month last night just because I was tired of CS:GO, mm-hmm. and like prior to that, I was literally in a in a ranked game, and this guy could not hear me because I'm halfway across the map and I'm nowhere, and he, he couldn't hear me. Didn't have a UAV up or anything. I spawned in. He looked right at me and followed me all the way through a wall in this building and waited for me to come out of a doorway to shoot me. I was like, do you guys talk so much about your anti cheat but it doesn't do nothing. So right. it, it literally does nothing. I got killed by a couple hackers on, on DMZ, and you know they tried saying they weren't hacking, but I'm like, you're 2,000 meters away, and you hit every single shot with an AK? Mm-hmm. Okay, but... Yeah, I just I feel like games that weren't known for battle royales need to stick with what they know. And I guess if they want to do the battle royale thing, you know, more power to you. You guys make all the money. I'm just an idiot that gives you money. Uh, but like if you're gonna do battle royales, I think it needs to be a standalone thing. That's why I, I play love- RPGs. <laughs> yeah, that's why I just kinda I play I kinda do my own thing while I'm playing the game and I don't gotta worry about what other people are doing. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say I stick to like single player RPGs. I think Assassin's Creed's like some of my favorite games, especially the one that yeah. everyone hated. Black Flag poster right there. Assassin's Creed Black Flag's my favorite. Black Flag's my favorite. Uh, what you play is the brother and sister. I can't remember. You, it's not Unity. Uh, um, Unity's, uh, I have it on my Steam. Is that the my, one like in the 1800s or whatever? You play as the uh, brother and it's, sister. It's in England, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. like. It's one of my favorite ones. And then I bought. I wanted to play that one. Just it was the first DLC I ever bought because I wanted to kill Jack the Ripper. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to play that game just because, like, aesthetically and like visually, it looked really appealing to me. But at that point, I was just kind of like over Assassin's Creed. Like Assassin's Creed Three, I played Black Flag. I liked it. I just hated sailing everywhere to get places. Um, that's another but... hot, another hot take, man. I'm yeah. not a big, big fan of the sailing. Everyone's like, the sailing's the best part in the ship. Yeah, battles. I don't want to sail 30 minutes to go do a fucking mission. I want that's to what I'm saying, done. dude. It was the treasure hunting for me. That's what I yeah. loved. Uh, I, just... I, I played the shit out of Assassin's Creed 3. Assassin's Creed 2, I played the fuck out of it. In the first one, I played the fuck out of it. And then Assassin's Creed 4, I got halfway through it, and I was like, I, just, I can't do it. Yeah. Syndicate, Syndicate was the Assassin's Creed you were thinking of, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah Syndicate. Yeah. That was one of my favorite ones, dude. That thing was cool as shit. You could steal buggies and stuff. I love. Yeah, in London. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not a big like. It makes me sound sexist when I say this. I, I think I already told Josh about it. I'm not a big like female main character. Like, I was never big like Tomb Raider and stuff. But like, oh, I, I love, love playing. I loved in Assassin's Creed. Eve, Eve was my favorite character. I love playing as her. Mm-hmm. I play with her yeah. over Jake. Actually, I have a, I have a Jacob Funko Pop, but my Eve is like out of the box. She's somewhere over there. But I don't mind a female main character, but just don't push it down my throat that it's a female main right. character. Like just I don't, release yeah, the yeah, game. Yeah, I don't need that. Like I feel like uh, do you guys know the game Control? No, no. It was it was made by Remedy, which also made one of my other fucking favorite games of all time, Max Payne. Um, they made this game called Control, and there's a female lead character. And when it came out, I was like, "Cool, you get to play as a chick." They didn't force it down your throat, like, "Oh my god, groundbreaking news!" There's a chick as a main character in a video game. Like I've seen it many times. Like I played Medal of Honor since I was a little kid, and Medal of Honor Underground. You play as a woman. There was no, oh, breaking news. You're playing as a woman in this game about World War II. It was just here's yeah. the game. You're playing as a as a French female who's in the um, I can't think of what, what the uh, resistance, and this is what you're doing. Yeah, it, it is one of those things. I don't feel like it's forced down our like as a gamer, it's not forced down your throat so much. But yeah. it's just well, they just had that I new game that came out where like the biggest it. issue was it, not that the main character was a female lead, but. It was the way that they made her like 
putting it, throwing it in your face, like, oh, here's a quippy female joke here. What yeah, the I... name of that movie? It just came or the, the game. It just came out. I think that Horizon game is it? Yeah, that's what. It, yeah, Horizon. Uh, oh, dude, I love the first Horizon. Horizon... Oh, for, 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 for spoken. Oh, oh for yeah, spoken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for sworn. Yeah. For spoken. No, for spoken. For spoken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't play it. I didn't watch too much stuff on it. It didn't look interesting yeah. from the get go to me. Uh, I just seen it on Steam and I was like, ah, Resident Evil comes out. I don't care. Yeah. Speaking of that, though, dude, new Star Wars game? Yeah, dude. Really dude. I'm, looking at, I'm, I'm looking at the Steam page right now. It looks so yeah. good. I can't, I can't wait. wait. I'm about to make a financially uh, bad decision. It's pre order. Right? <laughs> Yeah, $70 down who, the drain thanks to the economy, I guess. Your guys' standpoint, is Star Killer is Star Killer gonna be canon? Nope, he's not in it. I hope they so. already they already showed it's somebody else. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like General Coda to me. I don't know who they said it was. I don't remember. I think they said it was General Coda. The guy yeah. in the back, I think. Yeah. 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 That's General Coda that makes Star Killer canon. Okay, well, if that's if he is, great. I want him to be candid. Did, He's one of my Bishop, favorite Star Wars characters. Bishop, I have to send you this TikTok. I'll send it to you too, Josh. Uh, Hayden Christensen mm-hmm. getting his applause and starts crying because of how much the Star Wars I fans love him. him. Did you? Dude, I bawled my eyes out, man. I watched yeah, it. I, I was crying. As I left work today, I was just like, I fucking love you, dog. I loved you when you were in Goosebumps. I loved you when you were fucking Darth Vader. Fucking Goosebumps, dude. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Night of the Living Dummy, episode two. Yep. Hayden yep. Christensen. Yep. Loved him, dude. Love Star Wars. Love, dude. I can't wait. I'm so excited for that new game. The first one was so good. Uh, mm-hmm. The all the mechanics they're bringing in for the second one, I can't wait because I told you guys all the time. The first one wasn't like railroaded. It kind of had some like free play, but this yeah. one they added so much more like adventure to it. I I read the day that. Coruscant is openly uh, explorable. Really? Yeah. So that's why it's going to be 155 gig and place it down there. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. I'll but that, that, I, that's what I read, and I was like, no fucking way, dude. I am so hyped for that. And both of you? Like me, like seeing Coruscant in the movies and stuff, like I always thought it looked cool as shit. And I was like, I just want to go down. I want to see what's in there. Don't show me this backed up view. I want what's on the street, man. That was my biggest not pet peeve, but like biggest like letdown with Hogwarts Legacy. Like I wish it was like not a prequel many years in the past. Yeah. yeah. Like I want to experience like the the gr- the nitty gritty like Diagon Alley. Like mm-hmm. yeah, I, that, I think that was that's the biggest like great for me was we didn't get Diagon Alley. I, I mean, wanna... we kind of did to an extent. We yeah, got all little, banners. Yeah. But that was really it. Like I, I went to... there in real life, and it does not Diagon Alley. No, it wasn't yeah. even. It, it wasn't even Ollivander's at Diagon Alley. It was Ollivander's at uh, Hogsmeade. That's yeah, when well, remember when he uses the the flu potion? He doesn't say yeah. Diagon Alley. He says Diagon Diagon Alley. Right. So right. Got, but like, I want to experience like, I don't know, like today's age of yeah outside of Hogwarts. Like I, eighteen hundreds. Like I don't care about that much. It's a good game. Right. I still liked it. Uh, I still, yeah, I still have to finish it. I have yet to do that. I'm in the final chapter, and I haven't been able to finish it. I just keep on turning it off for some reason. Yeah, yeah I, I, find, I always have something else I have to do, and I can't finish it. Yeah, I, I haven't played it in a while. That same thing. Me and Josh both, when we were, we were stuck on Midnight Shift, and we bought uh, Digimon. Dude, I'm still where I'm at when we left Midnight. Yeah, I haven't I, touched it since we since we got off Midnight. It's, it's been sitting in my bag. I haven't yeah. even taken it out of my bag. Yeah, my Switch is stayed on the charging port like i think me yeah. me and the wife played uh mario party the other day and i mm-hmm. thought about it because it was still early it was like seven and i was like i should clock in some digimon hours but then somebody mm-hmm. in the discord was like who wants to play digimon the card game and i was like i'd rather do that <laughs> like, so it i'm super stoked because i think star wars the the new star wars game is one of those games that it's gonna stick its claws into me it's gonna be one of those games i'm i'm gonna play a lot right same here yeah because i don't know hogwarts wasn't it for me it's still a great game it's if it wins game of the year i won't be mad because it's i don't think it will i don't think it will with what's coming out right what's already come out what's on my computer right now all right resident evil resident evil 4 okay 
Dude, if no, this game, we, if this game gets game of the year in 2023, I'm gonna shit my pants. How if, how uh, much fan fiction have you wrote for Resident Evil in your 25 <laughs> years of life? Uh, none, because I'm too busy playing the game. <laughs> you and did. I don't get into the fan fiction stuff. So. You did. I, I, if 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 Starfield is as good as it looks, that's gonna be game of the year. Yeah. I think Bethesda has it on lock if it's as good as it looks. I think you. Uh, I don't know, man. Bethesda kind of fumbles though. Yeah, I would say I don't they, know, like, man. On what though? Recently, I'm I'm with Bishop. Oh, besides, besides 76, but that's because they rushed it. It's been better. They they fixed a lot of the issues with it, and it, it got better. I'm. But still... if we're talking, what's the best studio out there right now? It's probably still Bethesda because they have Elder Scrolls, they have Fallout, and now they got a brand new one with Starfield coming. No, what uh, what CD Project Red just released something. No. Cyberpunk 2077. No. They're doing DLC. Oh, that was that Forspoken game. They they made. Oh, is it? Oh, they did that. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure. I would. Mm, I don't know if, if they push The Witcher Four to come out like December. Start promoting in September to come out December. I think this. I think CD Projekt Red would be the best of the year. I don't think they're going to do that. I think we're going to get it spring of next year. But we're going to have to no, see they, how good this they, they didn't do Forspoken. What the hell? They, they just don't have any. CD Projekt Red. Latest thing, the latest thing they had released on Steam currently is Cyberpunk. No, no, no. They're doing they a just, big DLC for it. Is, okay. Cause I was saying they, and then they, they announced they're remaking the first Witcher game. Yeah. I did see that. Yeah. yeah. Because I think the first one was a PC exclusive. It was top-down combat. The second one was similar to the third one, but the story was so much better than the second one. Where Enix made Forspoken? I didn't know that. Enix fumbles the bag. Yeah, I was saying, that's, a, that's, a bag, drop. Yeah. that's a drop that's for them. A, yeah, that's a big drop. Which, speaking of that, just companies in general, what the fuck, Capcom? Like, the, the remakes... And then the new Street Fighter looks fantastic. Oh, yeah. Open yeah. world Street Fighter. Oh, I thought, I thought oh, you were going to yeah. say something bad. I no, something bad. dude. That's what I thought you were going to say something bad, too. Like, no. All right. The Here, new Street Fighter looks so good. Here's my take on Capcom. I feel like for the longest time Capcom got shit on, but then like all these people love Resident Evil, and they like uh, Tekken and Street Fighter and whatever new else. Tekken looks Capcom great. Is. Um... Right now, I can honestly say Capcom is on fucking fire. They yeah. did they did uh, Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil Village, fucking bangers. Uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake, fucking banger. Resident Evil 3, I didn't even finish it because honestly, this was just kind of boring. Resident Evil 4, though, dude? Like, not just because I've been playing Resident Evil 4 for 19 years and I've beat it so many fucking times. Mm -hmm. Uh... I didn't think that they could make that game any fucking better than what it was originally. And they fucking sat me down in a chair and they said, watch this fucking shit. Yeah. And I, this is Hold like, this is like one of the fucking greatest things I've played. Like not, not just like all bias aside of it being my favorite game ever. Cap Capcom fucking just, they outdid themselves. And I didn't think it was possible. It is, but it, Capcom is one of like the best companies right now making games. I I have to well, say. I, I'm pretty sure that like, for new newer gen games, aren't they like one of the oldest too? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. as I say, they've got a lot of history. On they're, them. They've they're, got a lot of. They're a, yeah, they're a '90s company. Yeah. Oh, also so. another thing about them, the RE engine, best engine you got out there right now. So good. I, mean, I, I guess on reels, whatever, but like just like normal like game stuff, or the RE engine. Mm. I I don't want Capcom to butt off more than they can chew. I don't want them to like leak out of video games though, because that's where you get into trouble when you yeah. start doing like <clears throat> fucking uh, movies and. They really... tried that already. It didn't work out. John Claude Van Damme played the main character in Street Fighter, and it was not good. Uh, not a good movie. I, they, I, I was well, a kid when I watched it. I liked it. Yeah, 
I mean, like, back then, that was, that was also, like, the times where you just get a big-name actor that yeah. does martial arts and throw him yeah. in a movie. But it followed, it, I'll, I'll give it this, it followed the storyline. <laughs> no, it didn't. They took his best friend, they made him a super Nazi. Ooh, I guess. He became That's a big it. old super Nazi. Like, what was more important back in the day than just fighting bad guys? And who were the biggest of bad guys? Nazis. Go Very fight true. them. true. Go fight them. Point. Dude, I loved that movie as a kid. It was up there with I... Devil, the, the Devil Dragon movie. Everyone was like, this movie is garbage. As a kid, you're like, dude, this is so... Me and my brother would do the thing. This thing. <laughs> I loved it, dude. You know what movie isn't garbage, though? The live-action Dragon Ball Z movie. Dude, that movie's so good. Okay, I'm going to get off here now. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, we'll friends after that one. <laughs> you know, uh, dude, honestly, uh, this is not even to do with anime or, like, nerd stuff. Me and, me and my wife, Ashley, did watch the live-action Jungle Book movie last night. Uh-huh. Dude, chiss laps. If you guys have nothing I've to do with I've never watched that, it. Dude, you guys not- I've watched it. The- I watched the original Jungle Book. Jungle yeah, Book if you have, I loved it as a kid. Bishop and Josh, if you guys have nothing to do tonight, it's called Mowgli. It's on Netflix. Dude, it's all right. I do. I'll check it out. I mean, tonight I have to watch uh, one of the One Piece movies, but yeah, it was fucking awesome. Or not One Piece, Naruto. I got to watch uh, Prison of Fire tonight. That was my, all right. It's, my, right. it's the last one on my list. I'm watching okay. all the anime movies in order, or not an like not Naruto anime movies, but like anime movies I started and didn't finish, and it's mm. the last one on my list. You ever watch the Bleach ones? Uh, yes, I watched. The Bleach ones are good. I like them. Uh, not Hellverse. Uh, Hellverse is the best one. No, the nothing something, some the the nothing turns them into nothing, or the memory list. Oh, something's like. Making everybody forget they exist or something. I watched that one the other day. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I watched that one the other day. Um, Kikio's delivery or Kiki's delivery service. I watched that. Tomorrow night is Spirited Away, which I did finish. I just put it on the list as a reason to watch it again. That's a and then, amazing movie. Yeah, and then uh, the St. Ghibli Studios, but uh, Flying Castle. Never yeah, watch, never watch that one. Owl's Moving Castle. Yeah, never watch that one. So that's yeah. on the list for. That's one of the. That's one of the considered one of the greatest anime movies of all time. Well. Yeah, that's Wednesday night. Never seen it. Uh, so. Speaking about Spirit Away, when that shit got announced for Cartoon Network, I felt like the whole world stopped when it came out. When, <laughs> dude, you know what's crazy about anime, and I'm not sure if you guys even know this. Like six years ago. They took Spirited Away and Ghibli Studios off all streaming services five years ago. Off all streaming mm. services. All of his movies, but especially Spirited Away, DVDs and Blu-rays, skyrocketed. Spirited Away at one point, retail price for that DVD or Blu-ray was like $30. Yeah. Yeah, it was a wild... Like, dude, I remember like going to buy it and they were, like... The dude rung it up and he was like, yeah, it's like 26 something. And I was like, no. <laughs> like, DVDs are supposed to. I think I bought the Blu ray. I was like, no, Blu rays. A PS3 can play a fucking Blu ray. I'm not paying that price. Right. The good thing is it's now on HBO Max. So. Yeah. And your boy, well, I want to say your boy has HBO Max, but your boy shared his password. So now all of his boys have HBO Max. <laughs> Every time I get an HBO Max. I've got like nine different profiles. I'm like, I don't know these people. Yeah, who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> who is like, this? That's like Patrick like, when he goes under his rock and those people are down there. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, uh, I've got two coworkers on there, or two former coworkers. Sorry, brother, brother-in-law, mom, uh, Ashley's family. It's like, who are these people, and why are you using up all my shit? I share it with my brother-in-law. That's what that's. I have his HBO Max account, and then he uses our Hulu account. That's how we do it. Which do I dude, I got so mad because again, Ashley started Demon Slayer, but she was watching it on Hulu, and I pay for Funimation <laughs> and Crunchyroll. Like, pick one with zero ads. We right. got we got to the part he's walking through the city with Nezuko, and he smells uh, Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. 
And then it just cuts to an ad. That's who it is. It's yeah, Mike it's my dude. It's my <laughs> <laughs> but then it cuts to an ad. I'm like, you're gonna, we're gonna miss or not care about like an entire like scene that matters because an ad. Yeah. And, and so like 230 second ad. Yeah. Right. So it comes back on. Uh, he spoilers again. Skip this part. He notices that a slayer sees him scratches a citizen that citizen becomes a demon and starts like this big commotion right and then he gets away with his wife and daughter Family, yeah. and then uh tondro has to like stop this commotion but the cops are beating the shit out of tondro because they don't know yeah. that he's what he uh, is yeah because yeah, they operate outside the government so right and then the ad passes it comes back on you get to that scene and my wife's like what is going on? I'm like, dude, watch this on fun. I pay the five ninety nine a month, right? For you, if you wanted to do, I pay for me, but like, if you wanted to do this, to do this, she's like, I don't know. HBO Max is great. It's got better yeah, quality. Yeah. It does have better quality, but yeah. watch it on Funimation so that I can justify paying five ninety nine to keep it. And then now I have Crunchyroll, which I got like two months ago for Chainsaw Man. And that's another eight four eight fifty four. It's like I'm paying like twelve dollars a month for like anime, and you're using HBO Max. It's like I just don't know how I feel about anime. I just want to start Demon Slayer. I'm like, you pick the wrong one to start with. Yeah. Like, yeah. You pick the nineties. Start, start wherever you want, but that's not the one, Chief. I lucked out with my wife. She already she was already watching anime before I met her, so she See, watches the same stuff I do most of the time. But we just finished watching Zoids again. And now we just started uh, Mobile Suit uh, Gundam Double O, the one I was telling you about. I I gotta start that. I mean, yeah. that when we get off that's, here, that's my favorite Mobile Gundam Suit. one. Yeah. I lied to you because I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna get on YouTube and spend the rest yeah. of my night there. I'm gonna do the same thing probably. Yeah. So with that, we we can't end it. It, it has been an it's hour, after seven thirty. Yeah. What you said. <laughs> so it's been an hour twenty two. So let's do this. Let's. We didn't get into. We got into favorite animes. We got into top three, top five, top whatever Bishop gave us of animes. So we'll end it. One last introduction. Who you are, why you're a nerd, and favorite video game because we did favorite animes already. So I will start. My name is Matt. I'm a nerd because I never fit in with the bros, dude. I, I played sports. I did all this. Almost all the sports except for football because I was too small and too strong from what my mom told me. Oh, okay. um, and I, I gave you guys my favorite animes earlier. My favorite video games are going to be the Mass Effect games. Bishop, why are you a nerd? Uh, I'm a nerd because uh, I never really... It, it felt like it was like different than what other other people were doing, and I was always kind of different than most people because I didn't like everyone just doing the same thing all the time. So I was like, I'll do something different. So I, you know, I kind of got into just uh, like all the nerdy shit that I like. And yeah, me and my brother, we grew up on Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, and uh, Yu Gi Oh, and shit like that, <clears throat> uh, and gaming. I'm a big gamer. Uh, my favorite games. Uh, well, Resident Evil 4 is my favorite game of all time. Dude, you're uh, such a fake, bro. Dude, you're such a fake. I'm literally <laughs> playing it right now. Uh, my, uh, then it would go Gears of War 2, and then, uh, which I like all Gears of War games, but Gears of War 2 is like... Oh, which one? Which one? Snake Eater is Gears of War 2, right? I'm not even joking. Is that, it's Gears of War 2 Snake Eater? Shut up. Uh, and then the, the first two Max Payne games. I'm talk, are you talking about Metal Gear Solid, or are you like you fuck with me? Right no, now? is Metal Gear Solid two or three Snake Eater? I said Gears of War. Oh, Gears of War. <laughs> and then no, you reiterated Gears, Gears of War too. I thought you were saying Snake Eater. We are, I was talking about Metal Gear Solid, <laughs> dude. Gears of War, Snake Eater. That's not your favorite. Yeah, but uh, Resident Evil Four is my favorite game of all time. Gears of War two, and then uh, the first two Max Payne games. R.I.P. Marcus. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> Dude, Batista's gonna play him, dude. You have to be excited about that. Yeah. Batista, man. Like We're fucking dead. <laughs> All right, Josh, I'll leave. Uh, my name's Josh. Uh, 
I was kind of a jock in high school, uh, but I was into things like anime and Dragon Ball Z and Star Wars. My friends, the reason why my Discord name is The Nerdy Jocks because my friends nicknamed me The Nerdy Jock in high school. But I really became a nerd when I was in the Air Force and when I was on deployments. I had nothing to do most of the time because I was a cook, so we really didn't do much but cook for people who did the real shit. So I spent a lot of time in hotels with nothing to do, and I found anime, and I started watching things, and it just became a part of my life after that, to be completely honest. And I've always been a big gamer, a huge Legend of Zelda fan. My favorite games are probably Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and Kingdom Hearts games, Final Fantasy, things like that. And yeah, I just became in, engulfed in the culture, and I've always loved it. I go to Comic-Con every year now. Okay, fake fan. Oh. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> What are your favorite games again? Legend of Zelda, just Kingdom found, Hearts, Final just, Fantasy. You just found out about Kingdom Hearts. I did, did I? No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So when weekly can we do this? Before I hit the stop record button. I'm pretty much good every every day of the week, but it um because I I live a half an hour further away from work than you guys do, so I can't like get on at like three thirty four o'clock. Um, that's really the only issue for me is the time. And then I'm just consumed on Wednesdays and the weekends. So I can do Thursday or Friday. Yeah, I think Thursday or Friday should be. Thursday's fine. Or I text Thursday you guys. Thursday or Friday. All right. And Thursdays it is. Okay. Sounds good to me.